Jay-Z sends some not-so-subliminal messages in his new video for Moonlight. And also, Style Squad and Studio 24 team up to release this very creative set of photos. And next up, we have Chileona in the building who's going to give us some insights on what's popping in her life. Don't go anywhere, guys. This is Fashion 360, where we bring you everything that's trending in fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I am Nariti Mendes. The reigning Miss Africa Queen on climate change. Uh, when my mom was pregnant of me, she was in Cuba and apparently she had many pains. She felt many, many pains. And so the doctor said that she had Nariti and she constantly heard the word Nariti, Nariti, Nariti. Accidental queen or not, Nariti has got the most unusual things going for her. Africa stands still for this dazzling queen as she makes a rather unlikely reign. Want to know more? This is Miss Africa. So above anything, I'm, I'm carrying such a huge responsibility in my shoulder and I just want to finish my reign on a good note. Get the lowdown of the life and moments of Africa's young beauty this Friday on Spice TV's Fashion 360. New mom Eku Adewo dishes on her new beauty product, the Arum Elixir. We perform just about all the beauty functions every lady and guy needs. Motherhood, her unique style, and more as she features on Accelerate TV's The Cover magazine. Speaking on her unique style, she said, I would say that my style is like an electric elegance or like an exciting classic. It's sort of like a contradiction because I like out-of-the-box pieces, but I don't like to be too trendy. I still like to look classic and I like to look quite clean in some ways. Even if the top might have a lot of drama, I like to anchor my look always so that it looks wearable. My look isn't like a Rihanna kind of outfit because I don't commit all the way like she does. I think I have sometimes, but it's not a constant look. My day-to-day -day is crazy cool, I guess. Welcome back to the show, guys. Now, if you are on planet Earth, you definitely know Jay-Z released his latest album 444 recently and it has been doing so well and also he's been releasing some very very nice videos with some messages here and there i think the only video that has been straightforward but not so straightforward has been the video for bam with damien marley have you seen it no okay so he recently dropped the video for moonlight and as you know he has been um enlisting the help of different actors mahasala ali lupita nyongo hannibal Buress, lil rel all of them so in this new video he tries to recreate a scene from friends you know you, the you, opening credits for yeah friends. yeah you definitely watch friends didn't yeah. you so and it's all it's an all black cast there was nobody black in it's friends. a race the guy from Cam michael show exactly exactly yeah. exactly so uh he's trying to put out i think he was trying to put out a message saying that you know because the lyric of the song goes we're stuck in la la land even when we win we're gonna lose so it shows like the black people trying to do things in a white society that white people would do but cannot pull it out perfectly so the acting was understandably below par because they wanted to portray something that they wanted to do but could not do it because of the whole race thing and it also shows when hannibal Buress comes in like as himself and says oh this is this is not a good product um this is not a good production at all do you understand what i mean so what do you think about uh, this whole, like, from Kendrick Lamar to Jay-Z, the whole black empowerment thing, Beyonce and everything, so... Uh, I'm all for, I'm honestly for, I'm honestly for the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm always for, I believe so much in human empathy, so I always believe in speaking for the lesser, lesser people or people that don't necessarily have a voice. So I think it's really amazing that people that are in these positions as artists and everything else, they're using their platform to speak on something so important because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. racial profiling and racial discrimination is, a, is still a very huge problem in America yeah, till today. Of course. So I think it's important that Jay-Z is passing across a really strong message, but I feel like it's important for in everything that happens, people don't get carried away in the conversation because um, I understand that in an all black cast show um, it will be difficult for you to thrive back in the day especially considering all other factors but yeah. i don't think that we should 
rain on the parade of Friends because Friends was a really awesome show. Yeah, I don't. And, uh, yeah, I don't and think. Okay, finish. All the yeah, and all the you know you know how you said the acting was subpar because yeah. and all of that. I just think that the those actors and actresses in Friends they've moved on to have other careers that are thriving. So I just feel like. I understand the message. I get the message. I thought it was really creative. Yeah. It's coming up with really creative and innovative. I did as well. Mm -hmm. I just feel like you shouldn't try to like take a dump on someone else's hard work. Okay. Regardless. That's very well. So I, well, yeah. and I don't know. My, obviously, I'm gonna speak from my Sean Carter mode. Yeah. I don't think he was trying to take a dump on friends. I think yeah. he was trying to. Because the lyrics of the song, if you listen to it, like he's saying that you know black people might try to do what white people do, but in the eyes of everybody, it wouldn't be as perfect as when the white man does it. You get what I mean? So I just think Friends are just the casualty of creativity, maybe. Yeah, you know, like okay. you were, they were trying to, because Friends is one of the best shows yeah. to ever exist. Yeah, so why did it have to be a casualty? Like, I feel like if you're going to like, like do this, like, yeah, because I mean, if show, you are going to... Like an actual <laughs> white show that is actually really whack, like... If you're going to do, uh, just to portray, I, I think actually this is not uh, raining on uh, raining on Friends period. I think this is actually showing the importance of Friends, like in cultural values, because Friends was is one of the most watched shows of all yeah. time. It was one of the biggest shows, ran for 12 or was it 13 seasons. So I think him taking that important show and putting it back and making it all black cast actually has more meaning as opposed to maybe if he took a... Uh, what other show now? Kudos to Jay Z. I think he's doing something for the culture, and we definitely like it. Canadian singer, songwriter, and record producer The Weeknd, alongside top models Adriana Lima and Arena Shake, feature in this slick cover for Harper's Bazaar September issue. The magazine's cover story for this month features some other fashion and music talents, including renowned singer Courtney Love for their Bazaar Icons edition. According to the magazine, the pop superstar is quite press shy and only agreed to an interview via email. We have all come to know and love him through his lyrics and Instagram pictures. Well, he talks about the disparity between his lyrics and real life persona, saying, I'm not in any rush to let people know everything about me. Mystery is always great. <laughs> That Ebo chick is one Nigerian beauty blogger with the mostest. We are talking over 2 million views and thousands of subscribers on YouTube. The Mayume's DIYs are the most enchanting time out for the realest chicks. Get insights into her life as a Nigerian as she shares some of her most favorite things, beauty tips, travel, and lifestyle. Vimbai in these peach summer details by Karima Mack is one lucky girl. She sums it up quite nicely. The style stars go up for the full fringe and ponytail. Still on the matter of details, prints always make it to the front lines. Beverly Naya is printastic in these pant loves by Nurania Studios. Talk about absolute love. She pulls all focus to the bold detailing with a cold shouldered white and yes, that fro is absolute love. Esede Anumudu puts the C with chic. These pants are the baddest. She's got a hold of what's trending in these hand-painted works by Paparsi Jeans. And if you didn't spot it, G is not for gold. G is for Gucci. Guys, look out for this one. We've got more than a triple win for Star Wars Superman John Boyega as the new cover guy for the latest issue of GQ. You might want to borrow a leaf or two from this hottie style look. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to the exclusive part of Fashion 360 where we bring you interviews with people who are trending in pop culture, fashion, beauty and lifestyle. Now today with me I have a very gorgeous actress and her name is Chai Leona. Hi Chai. How welcome you? to the show. Oh, thank you. Welcome, thank welcome you to having me. Set. Thank you, it's beautiful. Yeah, feel at home, feel comfy. Uh, I'm this, is, this is your zone. She's very comfy. Yeah, yeah. Looking <laughs> very, she's the only person looking very comfortable in the chair. Yeah, actually. Very, looking relaxed. Like, 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 like. Well, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. I think shame. we're just like... <laughs> She's just like, yeah. I, my set. I think it's because I'm in the middle. I'm like yeah. holding it together, mm -hmm. you know. 
Thank That's you a very good way to put it. <laughs> Thank you for coming through. <laughs> so can we just get right into the questions because I'm really interested to learn about your journey. So can you tell okay. us about first when you started acting, why did you start acting and has it always been a passion for you? Okay. Uh, Alright, so when did I start acting? I started, I would say, 2010-ish. Okay. 2010-ish. not yeah. so long ago. Seven years? Yeah, about seven. Ish. Almost, yeah, ish. Um, and I'll say ish because um, technically I went to school four years for it. Okay. But prior to that, let me tell you about my first audition. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing. And I feel like that's actually what made me feel like, okay, this is it for me. Like I felt at home. I went for my first audition. It was the weirdest thing ever in life. Mm -hmm. I went into a room. It was a blank room, mm -hmm. like black room. And yeah. of course there were the judges. And this guy, he was just like, so just imagine you're a... You're an animal. I think it was a cat. I'm not sure what it mm -hmm. was. Um, imagine you're an animal and go. So like, and that was it. So can I just say that this interview definitely wasn't in Nigeria? No, it wasn't. Okay. It was in, in <laughs> yeah, for a Nigerian to to act like a cat, you'd be like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But tell, but, but, tell, but tell me about acting like a cat, though. For, I think what does that entail? What they meant is more of like the embodiment mm -hmm. of an animal. You know, it, I, I don't... Like I, a spirit I, animal, maybe? No. No? <laughs> that no? Sounds like okay. That. No, I think it's more okay. of the embodiment and the movement and maybe to see what I can be outside myself. See if you will lift. No? 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 no. It, wasn't, it wasn't like that. <laughs> I'm thinking about it because it sounds it, it sounds strange to me at least. Like, and for some reason... Were you shocked when they told you that though? I was confused. I was okay. confused but in the midst of that confusion I... Clarity came. found something. I was confused. Um, for some reason in the midst of the confusion I found peace or something like yeah. I felt at home, and that's when I realized that hey, I should be doing this. I should be acting. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But why you tell me about the audition? All I'm thinking about is that. <laughs> yeah. Then, it, it was, it was <laughs> okay. probably something like that. It was probably weird like probably that. Went along those lines. Or do you have just... videos? Maybe. No, she no they're not. You sure? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Talking about roles, though. How did you come across or get the roles in life one on one, and this is it? Auditions. Oh, yeah? Auditions, yeah. I came back to Nigeria, and I think a year, about a year later, I came back to do my NYC, and a year later, I saw Lola D is a director. First of all, coming back, I knew the directors I wanted to work with. I'm that kind of person. Like, I will Google you, I will research you, I will stalk you. Not necessarily, but um, <laughs> so when I saw that Lola D mm -hmm. was um, holding like an audition for a new series, I was quick to jump on it because she was one on my list, and I went for the audition and I got the part. Nice. Okay, fantastic. And I'm um, talking about that though. Do you think you are a stereotype type actor? I mean, you'll have a particular type of uh, role that you like, or you can play anything they throw um, at you. Because I have a stage background, in stage there's no limit. You can play anything. You can play an old man if you want. But coming into, because I did mostly stage abroad, but when I came back, I've been doing a lot more films, which is what I wanted to do. That's kind of why I came back as well to do more films and okay. stuff like that. In film, yeah, that becomes that kind of stereotype, and you know, and because I I have this younger look and stuff, so I tend to fall into that younger teenage, and that's how Life One Hundred One is okay. about. Life okay. One Hundred One is a teen, you know, kind of series as well. So in film, yeah, there's that stereotype, but I would like to, you know, play things that are not so safe. You okay. know. Cause I usually get like now I'm getting the girlfriend role, the sweet girl, the this, you know, cause I'm young and stuff like that. But I, I like to get some rare roles. Some, some cat roles, maybe. What is she do? I'm still, I'm, I'm <laughs> still on that. He, I'm he, still he's on into that. Cats. I'm, You're into cats. No. To be honest. No. No, I'm not. It's not like it's a, a like fantasy no, of yours. You, you, no, what? <laughs> I don't know. No, no, He's into I'm cats. Not. Don't do, don't do that to me. Okay, child. that came out no, wrong. No, okay. no, I'm definitely <laughs> not into woman, cats. Maybe. No, even if Halle Berry was Catwoman, she no. was Catwoman, but Shit. I'm definitely not into cats. Okay. Oh, okay. So we definitely have more questions for you, but let's go on a short break and we'll be right back with more questions and Fashion 360. <laughs> In Star Magazine, September cover features superstar musician Selena Gomez, and she looks stunning in the photos that follow the cover story. Last October, the singer cancelled her tour and sought out treatment to focus on her emotional health and exhaustion. 
as she opens up all about in the magazine's latest edition. Selena recently returned from a 90-day therapy session, which according to her, was scary but an amazing experience. Speaking on her relationship about the weekend, she said, I don't depend on one area of my life to make me happy. I've wanted to be in a strong headspace for years and I really wasn't before. I was so young and easily influenced and I'd feel insecure. I'm lucky because he's more of a best friend than anything else. Welcome back to the show, guys. Of course, we still have Chai Leona in the building. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so talking about your name now, I know you're Igbo. Definitely. So why did you change your name? Tell everybody the full name, first of all. Okay, uh, my name is Chago Ziem Wakama. Right? Mm, 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 mm. See? Say that again. Chago Ziem. What was it? The other part? Wakama. Oh, okay. So, right. so Chai Leona so, now. Why that? Yeah, okay, well, in school in the States, obviously, they don't call me Chai Gozian Kubikan. That's where Chai came from. Chai is from Chai Gozian. Of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But coming back to Nigeria, I actually wanted to use Chai Gozian Wakama. But in my two years here, <laughs> um, first of all, my name has been butchered so many times on credit. I can't Even imagine. Even like in interviews, it's been butchered. I can't imagine. Chai Leona has been my um, social media name. Okay. And what happened after This Is It was a lot of people that only know me through social media, that's what they refer, me to, refer to me as. So sometimes they're searching that and it wasn't consistent. And oh, I had exactly. some messages mm -hmm. that are like, oh, I couldn't find you. On... So because of that, like I just wanted something that was consistent okay. for social media. Okay. And that's how Chai Leona has always been my social media handle. Okay. Do you want to tell us where Leona came from? Or? Yeah, Leona, Leona is actually a lion. So in college, they... Um, Apparently, we had this in, in our theater um, class, we had this round table where we knew each other for four years because we've been in the same program for four years. So we had a round table and they were asking one word to describe everybody and most of mine was just fierce. So a lion is fierce, duh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Leona came about in college actually and I had some friends that used to call me Leona. Okay. So I was just like, hey, just Join too. Yeah. All right. It's a good name. So I just adopted my social media um, name. I like it. Yeah. All right. Nice. 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 So I want to know where do you see yourself in your acting career in the next five to ten years? Five to ten years. Um, definitely more. I don't. I don't want to be boxed. So definitely, obviously, outside Nigeria. Where we all target the world, obviously. Okay. Um, I definitely want to get into my own things to start producing and directing my own content. Okay, so Chai, thank you for being on the show. Thank so before we let you go, you know, tell us what you have in the works. Um, we just finished filming. This is a season two. Okay. Yeah, and currently working on Hustle with Mnet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. Oh, nice. fantastic! Nice. A lot of so, stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff. Okay. Anything, in, anything in sales? So now when I see you on TV, I say, oh yeah. Right. <laughs> Anything in sales? No. In sales? Mm. Well, soon. Soon. You gotta make money. You know? uh, okay. Make okay. Cash. Yeah. Very well said. <laughs> okay, so before you go, you have to put out your social media. Okay. Yeah. How people can reach you? No numbers though. Yeah. I know you weren't going to do that. You know, I was just ready to give you guys my number. Of course you are. <laughs> you <know>? <laughs> <laughs> um, social media at Chai Leona. C H Y L E O N A all across all my social media handles okay. Yeah. okay all right guys thank you so much chai for stopping by the studio and having this awesome chat with us you've been so, so sweet much. and very bubbly Aww. i'm sure the interview is going to be very interesting to yeah. watch and i wish you all the best with everything you. You yes we do but don't go anywhere guys we still have more trending news coming your way From designer gowns to palette embellished confections, Fashion 360 selects the best gowns to hit the modern red carpet. All right, so it's all about the style award. What is your style? My style is um, glamorous. I think it's just such a great day where we can actually, you know, throw our hair back and just look pretty and just support each other. In a time when asking, who are you wearing, can be misinterpreted as trivializing. Tell us and some people at home, who are you wearing? Uh, this is by April by Kumbi. Fashion 360's regular take toasts the icons and upstarts rewriting fashion's rapidly changing lingua franca amid a mashup of millennials, social media, and the new modern glamour. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon.
Bye, guys. The red carpet is undergoing some kind of revolution, and you are part of it. Look out for the red carpet roundup on Spice TV's Fashion 360. Okay, guys, that's it for today's episode of Fashion 360. Big, big, big shout out to Chileona for coming. Huge through. shout out to Chileona. She's Chileonia. such a sweetheart, so cute, and like just bantering both of us being. I like her. Laughing at her like very her. dry cool. jokes and everything. Dry <laughs> jokes? Like, yes. No. Is it really? No. Really? We got wet jokes. <laughs> that was a wet joke. <laughs> Laugh. Please. Laugh! If you want to keep up with the channel, I command you to laugh. Please, if you want to okay. keep up with the channel, please visit our website at www.spicebyspice.com. There you are. There you are. I knew it. And our social media handle is Spice TV Africa across all boards. If you want to keep up with us, SO is the official SO across all boards. And mine is Valerie.ek on Instagram. And my Snapchat is Sidi Sante. Until next time, this is the Spice TV's Premier Show Fashion 360. And we'll definitely see you tomorrow. Everything no hustle, girl. Everything they hustle, waste my. Yeah,